the Joe Rogan experience. What do you think about the fucking the live golf thing? Love it. Good. Absolutely love it. Why not? No, tell me more. Here's the reason. Uh, and I told you I, before this, I know a guy that went over there. Uh, and I and here's the thing. Some people love the preservation and the history of the PGA. I get it. Tradition. A lot of things about the PGA are bullshit. And particularly the idea that the PGA had a stronghold on them. It was kind of like, it has like the remnants of like contracts from studios in the 50s for actors where you're like, we own your fucking ass, your likeness, your rights, your images. When the golfers golf, they can't use that footage. They have to license it from the PGA. So if I'm out playing and I want to be like, hey, man, I want to put up a post on Instagram about this dope ass putt I hit or whatever, this great, you have to buy it. You have to buy your shit back from them. Bullshit. Why? If I'm a, if I'm Zion Williamson in the NBA and I fucking yoke on someone, I put my dick in their fucking face and dunk on them, Whoa. the NBA can't wait to give you the footage. They're like, dude, post that shit because it's going to help their brand. PGA is old white guy bullshit. And it's, I get it that it's antiquated. So some of the younger guys were like, fuck this. I want more freedom and fun. I want something different. Mm -hmm. Some of them, their careers are on the other side. Mm -hmm. So they might not be making so much more to win money. Right. So this is a great alternative. The problem people had was like Dustin Johnson or, you know, guys that are at the top. And they're like, why are you pulling your game over there? You could, do you think you, you think you can't win anymore in this? Which is part of the controversy. It's like, oh, do you do. But what's the big controversy? Well, the big controversy is Saudi run money. By the Saudis. Yeah, but yeah. but but Saudi money is invested in t tons of shit. Look up, uh, look up, look up Saudi, look up Saudi money LPGA. Look that up. Uh, the Saudi the, the the investment of the Saudis isn't like a new thing in American sports. So it's this is people are just mad because the PGA particularly is mad because they look. They're looking something in the face that's threatening them. It's not going to be bigger than the PGA, but it's an alternative that's fun. People like it. I, I, it's not going to be bigger. It's not going to take it over. But they but don't. What people are concerned with is that people are leaving and they're going to work for someone who's been accused of some horrific shit. Sure. But who made your jeans? These are American jeans. But you know what I mean? It's like most These people. These are made by origin. But, but most people. Go, oh, dude, I don't like that. It's like dude, you're made. Your fucking shirt was made by a Chinese kid. There's a lot. Well, your phone. If you're complaining about stuff, you're literally complaining on a device that was made by slaves. Well, that's my point. So yeah. I think that when somebody, when you start to get into nitpicky stuff, I'm always like, mm. I, I understand the idea of like being like an, people are anti them playing for Saudi money. But you, if you think you're not involved in Saudi money at a high sports level, I'm sorry, but the, it's there. Well, the WWE fans are freaking out now, right? Why, Jamie? What's that about? They announced last night that the Saudi investment fund bought the WWE, I believe. Okay. Well, what are you going to do? What happens now? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I no, what there, happens now? Well, there's no uh, divas. There's not going to be any women. That's Look at that. Vince headlines. McMahon. WWE talent done if company is sold to Saudi oh. Arabia. Thank TJ you, brother. Wrestling. It says it's not sold to Saudi Arabia, according to them. So this is what was happening on Twitter last night. Oh. Twitter, WWE Twitter world freaked out. It was like trending all night. Well, People go to Snopes. Oh, no. What does Snopes have to say? Oh, they had an answer? Oh, they yeah. did. Is WWE being so... Uh, research, research in progress. progress. Oh. Still going. So, yes. So, the answer is yes, and they just can't leak it. Yes. <laughs> no, but well, I... Uh, the money comes around if it's it's a substantial increase in money. I think here's the deal. I, I understand tradition, but... If these guys want an alternative league to play in, who, who uh, fucking let them go play? I don't. Who gives a shit? I don't know. Why do you need a monopoly of one league? I mean, you look at the history. That's of not what the problem is. What, what people have a problem with is Jamal Khashoggi. Jamal Khashoggi, who was a journalist for the Washington Post, who was dismembered at the Turkish embassy at the supposedly at the instructions of the Saudi royals. Yeah, he, he was criti critical of them. Yeah, but I mean. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know who, and I don't know who who literally is funding. They could be just Saudi businessmen that are funding live. I don't know this particulars, but I don't know. That's what I'm saying is like, uh, whatever. If they want to go play in that league and they're comfortable with it, let them go play, I guess. Fuck it. What an American perspective. Well, let them go play. It's fucking capitalism, baby. You want to get that, that fucking check, dude? That's the Trump perspective. Well, get that fucking check, dude. Trump told them it's an amazing, amazing organization. They're doing great things. Doing great things. Go get that money. I think, honestly, here's what's really going to happen. 
they're going to go get that money and then they're going to leave. <laughs> then it's going to be over and it's going to dissipate into nothing. Or not. If they have that kind of cheddar, well, they have enough cheddar, they could literally keep this going forever if they no, wanted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And they it's, wouldn't put a dent in them. No, no, it's not that. And you're right. It's more that what guys are going to be willing to either stay there or continue to go over there. So the problem is the talent, right? It's like anything else. It's like, But they're having the events here. Correct. I went to one. So you don't have to stay. You don't have to go over there. I don't. I don't think they only. I, only th- I think they only play one over there. All. All of them are here. Like I mm. went to one in Chicago, Rich Harvest Farms, uh, and yeah. I mean, I, you know, look, it's it's really interesting to to see the internal uproar, which I immediately attribute to golf is an old tradition sport. So people are really particular. So they don't even like that someone's entering the conversation. The outs. The other perspective, obviously, is the one that is the bigger deal is. People are people are think it's an immoral move, right. an unethical so move. Unethical if it was move. instead some enormous hedge fund got together and they put all their money together and decided to fund their own alternative golf agency, people, or they'd be golf tour. just as mad. I right. think they would be just as upset. People would be, the PGA does not want competition. They don't like that guys are even thinking about going. And then I think personally, they're shoehorning in the Saudi stuff to go, and that's bad. See. They're more mad about business interests. They don't give a. F- they don't fucking care about how the Saudi much of shit. a f- effect is it having on the top players? Nothing. I mean, my buddy, my buddy's doing a documentary that's coming out on Netflix. Uh, I think coming up soon in the first quarter of the year about um, the PGA. And during it, during the middle of filming, half of the guys left and went to live, and he films both perspectives. So, and it's supposed to be really good. It's just, it's not changed much. 